Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the outdoor design temperature and how to obtain this value. All right, so let's get into it. So step number one, you're going to need for this value to find the location. So what is the location? In this video, let's see. Location. For this example, we're going to take into account the Newcastle. Newcastle, Virginia. Newcastle, Virginia. And also it's important to mention the reason uh, why we need this uh, outdoor design temperature because of, the, the, uh, of two reasons. So you need to perform a heat load calculation, heat load calc, heat load calculation. And why do you need a heat load calculation in order to size the equipment, to size the equipment. So you want to be able to find out if you're going to need a two ton unit, three ton unit for your home or uh, if, you, if your system is oversized or undersized. So therefore, in order to obtain all those values, you're gonna need the outdoor conditions and indoor conditions, okay? So right now, what we're focusing on is the outdoor conditions. So let's put that in uh, pink, outdoor conditions, outdoor. See, outdoor conditions, conditions. Okay, so the outdoor conditions is the design temperature and the location is Newcastle, Virginia. And you have actually three options. You have three tables. So if you have the location, based on the location, you can resort to three tables. Table number one, because this is already on ta in, uh, in tables, we're not going to invent the wheel. You just need to know where are the resources, where are the sources of this information, okay? so. If you have the location, you can easily go to Array. You can resort to Array Fundamentals, Array Fundamentals, okay, Array Fundamentals, and they have a they have a big table that has a lot of details based on the location, and you're gonna be able to find temperature parameters, everything you want, like wet bulb, dry bulb, heating degree ratio, and everything, okay? relative humidity, okay, that's ASHRAE fundamentals. The other option that you have is to resort to manual J, which is a more summarized version of um, the outdoor design temperatures, okay? Manual J, this is from ACA. And what is ACA? Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. No, just kidding. This is American Air Conditioning Contractors of America, all right? So the other one you can resort which is pretty much very handy. This table is energy star. So the energy star table is the one that we have in here. See, energy star table, and it's available for everyone. And I'm gonna put in here the link below. Okay, link below. So in order to in, in order to use the energy star table, you only need the location based. This is the city or the town, Newcastle, Virginia. So what you need is the county. So number one, you need the state, okay? So this, the state is Virginia, and in the table you're gonna see Virginia, you're gonna see Georgia and Florida, everything, okay? So we have that. The county of Newcastle is Craig. So in Virginia, you're gonna find a lot of um, counties, for example, Fairfax, for example, um, uh, London County. So in here, Virginia, you have Virginia. Let's put this into pink, okay? So you have Virginia, you have the county of Newcastle, you have that, that's done. Therefore, you're gonna have your outdoor design temperature, which is this one. And you have your outdoor design temperature, which is this one. But why two? Because one is for cooling, one is for heating. For, for cooling, you have the warm season, for heating, you have the, you know, the winter or cool, uh, cold season, okay? So let's put it that into here. So let's put a cooling temperature. See, cooling temperature, and then the heating temperature. Okay, those are your outdoor conditions. So the cooling temperature is going to be based on the county, ninety degrees Fahrenheit, and the other one is going to be seven degrees Fahrenheit. Now the question is, and this is pretty much for contractors and engineers. And that's why this channel has been created to go into more details on what is what. So 
Eh, so most of us, most of the contractors or, or engineers, they understand, okay, let's go to the table, let's obtain the outdoor design temperature. Or even the client would give you those values if you are an engineer. But now the question comes in here to the following. 90, deg 90 degrees Fahrenheit at 1% and at 99%. Okay? So what is the 1% and 99%? So 1% is the annual percentile, and that's the, that's the value that I'm adding to this uh, knowledge that you're, you're building, annual percent. I'll. Actually, it's percentile. So you're gonna say it's 1%, but what is this? It's an annual percentile, and this is the same thing, annual percentile. And then you might be wondering, why is it not percent and it's percentile? And I don't want to confuse you. So this is 1% and 99%. But this is based on, a, on an annual, annual percentile, which means, which means, well, let's put this into uh, pink, 1% percentile, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, means the following um let's put, I'm gonna put in green so for one percent it means and this is the cooling temperature cooling outdoor design temperature means there is a one percent let's put that like this one percent chance one percent chance it's based on the statistics chance one percent chance the temperature, see, the temperature, the temperature will go above. The key word is above. So when you're talking about percentile, it's above, above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes sense. So in other words, uh, if your outdoor design temperature is in summer, in summer is... 90 degrees Fahrenheit, in the whole year, in the whole year, the chances are that the temperature will go above 90 degrees only 1%. And what is 1% of one year, which is, we're, we're talking about annual, that's 360 days, so if we're talking annual, what's the 1% of of that 1% of 365 days is 3.65 days, which is pretty much three days and a half, three days and a half day. Okay. So in other words, three and a half days, the temperature will go above 90 degrees. That's the chance. And this is based on based on a 30 year data, based on the 30 year degree data of average temperatures. And this is also based on the weather location. See, the weather station is right here. Let's put that in pink too. Pink right here weather station. You have weather station for cooling, weather station for heating. Okay. The same way we have the other design temperature, which is for winter. For winter, you're saying that 99 degrees, 99% percent percentile, annual percentile, 7 degrees Fahrenheit. And that means the same, that this means that 99%, see, 99% chance, we're talking about the statistics, the temperature will go above, again, it's percentile, above, above 7 degrees Fahrenheit, which pretty much is the... Uh, 
it's 360 days minus three and a half days, which is um, 361 point 35 days. Okay, 35 days. So in other words, 361, 361 days, the temperature will be above 7 degrees Fahrenheit. All right? Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, hit the like button and subscribe. Okay, share and subscribe. That helps a lot the channel. Okay, in the next videos, we're going to be talking about the indoor design temperature. We're going to be talking about hitting degree days and... Uh, yeah, a lot of to talk about this uh, temperature, all right? Thank you.